Hello and welcome to a new video. Um, my name is Daisuke Kaguchi and today I'm going to present my TT02, Tamiya TT02. Um, it's a, in specific, it's the type SR chassis. Um, and I will explain a little bit um, what tuning parts I've um, set in the car and why I'm using them, what they are um, bringing as an advantage um, and you, what you can expect from them. And also I will talk about the aim of this, of using of this car. Um, I'm going to participate in a local race series here in Germany where um, the rules are saying that you need to use a TTO2, at least the, the frame, the bathtub frame of the TTO2 and all the rest is more or less um, up to your choice. So let's um, look under this uh, Zoo Racing BOA body, which is a kind of LMP body. Um, I find it quite suitable for this class. It's a kind of GT uh, body. This is my TT. TT. Um, in principle, it's built um, according to the manual. Um, from the electrics, I'm using a Road Dog RP540 17.5 ton motor, uh, LRP, um, I think it's a SXX Speedo. Uh, no, it's a Flow Speedo, by the way. It's quite old, but still working good in Linky um, mode. I'm using, as always, Futaba Servos in specific. This is a BLS um, 551. Um, the MyLabs transponder and the Futaba receiver to bind it to my radio. Um, tires are Matrix 36R tires, which are also used on the ETS um, and many other racing series right now. Quite a good tire, I have to say. Um, regarding the parts which I've set or which I've applied directly before driving even the first battery with it, um, I've um, Equip the car with um, the blue and um, titanium, blue aluminium and um, titanium screw set. Um, it's kind of personal style. I like them from the from the um, look. And additionally, they also bring quite a um, advantage in weight. Um, I would guess it's around 20 grams, 30 grams maybe what they will bring and wait. I, I have to look up, I don't know exactly how much it is. Um, then, uh, secondly, I've replaced the plastic dampers by the TRF um, shocks. Um, they work quite nice since years, so um, I like to use them. I've also added um, the TRF um, fluorine coated balls to attach the damper on. Um, it's a little bit less loose and I like them because they have a 2.5 mil hex inside and you can quite easily detach and attach the dampers again. Then quite a big, quite an expensive part is the aluminum steering set. Um, this is the new aluminum steering set, um, um, which is the one um, where you can, uh, or where the arms are more like on the TRF models. So you have quite a long, uh, quite long tie rods, and therefore the steering feel is quite similar to the TRF models. I like the steering pretty much. Um, then, as always, I'm using um, the high torque servo saver with the blue um, adapter from Square TGE 24TB. Um, um, this is quite a long one, and um, granting me. Um, Full um, excel, or I, I can I can have the full um, steering angle. Um, what I what I not upgraded, as you can see, is the center shaft. Um, this is a seventeen point five class, and I already tried it um, on the big asphalt track, and I I have absolutely no issues with this plastic uh, shaft. Um, maybe it's not looking nice, but I'm really keeping to. Um, I'm, I'm keeping to tr uh, try to keep the focus on fast lap times and um, only putting parts inside the car which are really useful. So no bling bling, no um, no parts which um, 
which just improve the, the look but have no technical um, um, significance. Uh, furthermore, I've added the aluminum upper arm mounts. Um, you need two sets of them, front and rear. Um, they are also not very cheap, but what they bring, they also bring a TRF-like suspension setup. So you can add spacers or remove spacers and add the height of the inner links. So you can adjust the quick roll center quite easily. I've set it uh, in front. I have three millimeters on and on rear I have one millimeter. While on outside I have 0.5 as always in the on the reversible suspension and on the rear I have three millimeters on outside. Um, important point uh, springs. Um, normally I use axon springs, but recently I somehow got used to use the Tamiya uh, big bore short springs. Um, now I'm using red on the rear and on the front I am using um, the yellow one, which is the hardest from all. Red is the, um, the second hardest. Um, yeah, it's kind of soft on the rear and medium on the front. Um, what else do I have in tuning parts? Um, the glass fiber reinforced damper stays are already in the kit. On the front I have modified it. I've cut away everything what's outside. Um, and yes, you can see it's quite a, quite a nice small look on that. Um, the body mounts I have directly attached to the front bumper. I've added a carbon plate from the, um, from the TRF 416, 417 models. Um, it's just laid on so it's not centered, but um, by tightening up the body mounts it, it pretty holds in place where it should be. Mm, what else do I have here? Mm, the front spool is already in the kit of the SR. Uh, rear oil uh, filled GDF is already in the set. So um, the car already comes pretty nice um, equipped. Also the rever rever reversible suspension is um, on the car. Um, I have added those um, droop plates here on front and on the rear. To fit them on the front you need the front steel um, suspension block. Um, this is also available optionally. Um, and then you can set the droop settings for front and rear, which is pr quite important in my opinion to have a proper setup on racetrack. Um, yeah, what's my aim with the car? Um, I want to use this car of course in the racing series which I was mentioning which is the RCK Klein Serie in the GT Sport class um, but I somehow feel that the, the car has quite a potential and um, I will also use it I mean not sure but um, at least I want to try to use it in stock class 13.5 turn to see where I will land with it I mean I'm not the best driver but um, I will just see what what it what's possible to reach with this car. Um, so let's see. Um, another tuning part which is quite important in my opinion are the hex hubs. You can't see them now right now, but I've added uh, six millimeter hex hubs from Square um, SCD two one two. They clamp pretty nice and they give a little bit more track width to the car, so it gets more. Um, more stable in corners and also the track width on this car is actually um, I can I can just measure it um, on the front I have 186 mil which is quite okay for a TT you have to imagine normal TT is quite a narrow car and um, this is also maybe one of the big disadvantages of the TT and with the reversible suspension and the wide hex hubs um, you get quite a nice width of course always with race tires which have zero offset um, on the rear I have a track width one of 187 mil, which is um, also quite remarkable. Um, of course I can add some hex up spacers on, uh, to reach almost 190, but um, 180 between 180 and 190 mil that's 
pretty normal touring setup to use on the racetracks also for other car brands. Um, um, I forgot to mention in the dampers I've replaced the standard o-rings by the Axon o-rings, um, the ORSO001. In my opinion they are the best o-rings I've ever found for TRF dampers. Um, the clear ones in these dampers are not bad, but uh, in my opinion the Axon are just moving slightly better uh, and having um, same um, same potential to seal the damper against oil leakage. Um, another thing what I didn't mention is the gearing. Um, regarding the gearing, I am using the Tamiya aluminum spur gear adapter. I'm using an 87 tooth um, 64 pitch spur gear from Axon and on the, um, on the pinion gear I'm using a 45 teeth aluminum um, pinion gear. This results in a, a final gear ratio of um, 5.0 which is um, mandatory for this racing class. Um, to achieve that I also um, inserted um, an aluminum motor mount which is where the, where the backlash of the teeth is adjustable so you can more or less fit in any combination you want. Um, of course you have to see that there's no collision with the, with the, um, with the gear cover. Additionally, very important thing, um, in order to avoid coming, um, in order to avoid small stones coming into the gearbox, I'm using this um, thin plate which is coming between the motor and the motor mount. Um, it's a thin plate um, which you just mount on and um, it covers the holes of the motor mount so no um, no stones can go in. Um, yeah. Future outlook. What to optimize next on this car? I mean I, I didn't race it yet. I practiced with the car and performance was quite good in my opinion. Um, next race is coming in a few weeks. Um, I've made some carbon fiber droop plates um, which are more or less prototypes. Um, with the help of Craig Howard I could um, make them through manufacturer in UK and these plates will be fitted on on the on the lower side of the chassis. They will replace the droop plates from Tamiya. And uh, why did I do that? Um, I I am planning to equip this car with the TRF420 suspension arms and um, the droop points are slightly different than on the reversible um, arms so therefore these plates were needed. Um, I, will, I will give you info how they work and how the car behaves but for now I will keep using the car in this condition as you can see and let's see what the race performance will be. Hello from the racetrack here in Wächtersbach. Um, I thought it's a bit better to say some words from the from the racetrack directly instead of being in the boring room. Um, this is my TT, just on a race setup on the tire heater. So we are going to um, observe some laps soon. Um, what I wanted to say is um, I changed the springs in the meantime to the long. Um, Tamiya Big Bar Springs. Um, it's the uh, no marking in the front and uh, red markings in the rear, which is medium on front and red on the rear. They drive pretty well on this car. Um, regarding the gearing, I am um, using the Tamiya, the, I think it's a standard adapter from the SR where you can um, put any spur gear what you want. Then I have a motor mount where you can adjust the backlash. Um, without any steps, so constantly. And I'm using a gearing of uh, the, the main spur gear is 87 teeth, um, 64 pitch of course, and the pinion gear is a 45 turn, uh, 45 teeth pinion. And this makes a overall gear ratio of 5.0, which is mandatory for this racing class. Um, that's in principle all. Thank you for watching this video and now let's go on the track and see how this car drives.
tires are still a little bit wet, but this is no problem. We will wipe it off. Tires are already, uh, like I've said, uh, Matrix 36R. And uh, as a tire additive, I have used MR33 version 3 asphalt adhesive. Um, not adhesive, but an additive, which is also quite quite nice working on this on the setup. Let's hit the track.